Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the did I say that already? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. If I repeated that, if I repeated that, I apologize. There's something that's been going on where that people want me to forget what it is I'm supposed to be saying, but you know, it is what it is. We're still going to say it anyways. Um, there's some type of tower taking place in a community. Um, also, there's a tower that people are trying to cause to someone. Um, you're supposed to be having some type of new beginning and people are still orchestrating, behind, orchestrating, collaborating behind the scenes to block you two from you two, two people to block you two from having this new beginning or to block someone from having this new beginning. You're supposed to be someone that's at either in the public eye or or you're going to be in the public eye and people are afraid of you being seen, being heard, being taken seriously, uh, being listened to and things like that. So they've been doing a lot behind the scenes to try to defeat you and take what is yours. Okay. Someone may be paying people behind the scenes to manipulate your work, play with your work, manipulate your image. So instead of people seeing you in a respectable manner, they want people to see you as someone that is like, uh, of, that you, people should not want to be associated with. People should not want to have anything to do with. You're not worth listening to. You're not worth watching. You don't have anything to teach people. There is something like that that's going on, but you have a narcissist or a group of narcissists that are still working together, trying to take something as far as a collaboration. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a feminine energy or a masculine energy. It could be like a king of cups, uh, in the, in his neck, his lower energy that's trying to prevent two people from coming together. So this could be like an ex, a family member or someone that you are familiar with from the past. Oh baby, it's still happening. It's still happening. Oh, it's still happening. <laughs> Whatever these people were trying to do, it it backfired horribly. It don't backfire horribly because now the universe is like, you know what? Now nah, I'm really gonna make sure these people come together. Now I'm going to make sure that these people have what it is they need to have. Now, whoever's going through the tower, they're having a hard time moving on. This is a whole group. There will be no recovery. Like whatever you all were trying to do is not happening. There's, there's like some type of halt that's been put in these people's past. There's a mother figure. Girl, I've been told you there's some type of... Mm, yeah. There's, oh girl, you ain't able to move on or nothing. Can't celebrate. It's a whole community of people that cannot move on, cannot father something. There's a heart. There's some type of tower going on in their lives. They're all going through it together. They were trying to cause you a tower to make sure that someone has some type of new beginning, a karmic woman, but she's going through endings. Now, nah, baby, got no, got nothing but time to think about by everything that she has been doing, what she committed herself to. It's like someone sitting behind the scenes saying, now what? What's going to happen to me? What have I done? What's going to happen to my life? Am I about to be living in poverty? Am I da-da-da-da-da-da? Girl, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, yes, you are. You're going to have to figure things out. Just like you've been out here trying to steal from someone else, trying to manipulate and everything. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to figure this out. The whole friend group, the family, everything. They don't went from being happy to immediately depression. Is it what's going on? I thought we had it down pat. We had it in the bag. I thought we had it figured out. This is a whole group of karmic people that don't got together. This could be a whole family, blood family, that don't got together to a lot of lies about a whole high priestess out here and 
tried to take her resources, her offers, her independence, everything. They were trying to take it away. Um, but now things are not going their way. They're living in fear and anxiety. Don't know what the future holds for them. They said, hey, have you heard anything from the high priestess today? Hey, is the high priestess still there? Maybe these people lost some type of access to you or whatever this is. Because you know these kind of people, the only way they can win anything is life is through manipulation and invading people's privacy and things like that. You know, they don't connect with your neighbors and things like that and tell your neighbors to keep an eye on you, sneak into your home and things like that. And then they're pathetic behinds. You know, they partake in it as well. And they think you don't know that it's them, but the whole time you know. But then they get to a point where they get so comfortable that they want you to know that they are the ones doing it. And you're just like, I really don't care because you're pathetic as heck one of those there's something where it's like these people don't have access to you anymore there's a there's something either a wife figure mother figure baby mama was gonna do she's not able to take action and do it so it has put a halt in these people's plan they're going through a tower someone may be passing away someone may be sick but someone is in some type of time out or this is this group because we have the three of cups out here, they're in some type of time out because things are not going their way. There could be like a court case going on and they are required to provide some type of evidence. Maybe they've been trying to set you up so that you can go down for something that you didn't do. So now they got to figure out how do we go about this? There's absolutely a court case going on and it's not going in these people's favor. There could be like a crooked official in a court case that's helping these people do something and something is about to backfire really horribly on him or her. And this is how it was always meant to be. There may be out here trying to sneak an emperor that's taking charge of a situation to bring balance into it yeah he's trying to bring in some type of atonement some type of reconciliation balance the situation out so they're out here unhappy because what he said well I'm, yeah i'm tired of this i don't lost too much money too much time i can't do this no more they're trying to sneak him they're trying to stop him block him from taking some type of action, maybe this is to give to you to balance things out. They're trying to hold him back. They say, hey, we're telling you, if you go towards this woman, if you balance this out, you're going to live to regret it. <laughs> and then you got another emperor behind the scenes that's trying to control someone's life. This is an emperor that plays a lot of mind games and he thinks nobody knows what he's doing. People like these, the emperor that I'm picking up on, this is like a kink of swords. Don't, it's not exactly intellectual, just manipulative, but he wants to be seen as someone very intellectual. This is someone with control issues. Like he's trying to hold on to something, keep something that does not belong to him and it's going to backfire because this is someone that's sick and that sickness is about to get even worse. Okay. Okay. This is someone with a lot of control issues. This is someone that acts from behind the scenes. I think I mentioned before. So if he's invading your privacy, you won't know until you and him are on like a call or something. And you hear something playing in the background that you're listening to. So if you're playing like a video on your I said video. If you're playing a video on your phone and he has access to your phone and you press play and then you're listening and you say, hold on, why, how how is he hearing the same thing? I'm, how is he playing the same video I'm playing? What is going on? That's when you know that this person is nothing but a liar, has been deceiving you and all everybody else around him. There's an emperor out here that thinks He's the master of illusion. He don't know he's already busted and he's going to keep going with something because this is someone that's a narcissist and they refuse to be defeated, whether it's by a feminine energy, masculine energy. He said he refuses to let go and he's going to keep holding on to something. There's something you've been manifesting that he is trying to keep a hold of, but baby, it's going to get to a point where he won't even be able to, he won't even want to touch it. That's how bad it's about to get because there's something that's about to happen to his investment, baby, to his investment. When it happens, he won't even want to touch what belongs to you. Oh, he's going to be out here thinking, 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 thinking. He ain't thought this way. He ain't never thought this much before, but he's about to be out here thinking, thinking. Is that, oh, what do I do? How do I fix this? How do I put it back into balance? Why did I do this? And your ancestors, Archangel Michael, is going to be there. We told you not to touch it, baby. Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, Emperor about to be out here struggling. Barely moving on. Barely moving on. They may be trying to block someone from making some, taking some type of action to go towards a, a counterpart. Yeah, you see this here? You and a king of wands, maybe twin flames, and he's trying to move on with his life and give you some type of commitment, right? But they're trying to block him. This emperor here is manipulating someone, trying to keep him from taking action in his life. He's manipulating a whole king of wands. This is him, this emperor here. This is him here. Mm -hmm. It said, don't go to her. Yeah, what you heard about her is true. Lies. I'm telling you, she ain't worth your time. She's a liar. Nah, that man has foresight now. Maybe before when you all were lying to him about his twin flame, soulmate, whoever that empress is, maybe he listened, he fell for it, not anymore. He knows the truth. He said, what the heck? What in the world? What in the world? That man said, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. He's out. She was trying to hold on to him. She said, don't go. He said, divorce. <laughs> this divorce is over. I, I don't want to be part of this marriage no more, Mary. This is over. I want to take a new path because I know it's going to be successful. And I'm going for it. I'm going to have me some opportunities when it comes to finances and incomes. And girl, you want me to stay here? You got me effed up. You got me rolled up in more ways than one. I ain't doing it. I'm going to go heal, commit myself to my healing. Okay. While he's committing himself to his healing, there's people out here that's committed to destroying you, divine feminine. They may even get to the point where they're committed to destroying him. They say, I lost Harpo. I be damn if Harpo leaves me for her. Harpo said he's gone. Oprah, leave Harpo alone. <laughs> she's she burden. I'm telling you. The whole family, they're burdened. They're worried because this man is still leaving. You see that right there? The family is right here. He's sneaking away. He said, oh, I'm out. Do they see me? Do they see me? And the whole family said, yeah, we see him. We see you. You're leaving us, aren't you? You're leaving us. We done told you all these lies about her and you still wouldn't believe us. You wouldn't believe that we're telling you the truth. She's a liar. She's incompetent. She's a moron. He's gone. <laughs> they don't know what to do. You say, how do we how do we balance this out? What reckless actions can we take against this high priestess that she's not gonna see? But the, an the ancestors keep telling you everything these people are planning to do. They say, here they come with their superficial love offer so that I can accept it and miss out on my ace of pentacles. But my ancestors and my angels are protecting my ace of pentacles. They say, he's leaving us. We did everything to keep him trapped, to keep him way down and burdened. Why are we the ones that are way down and burdened? Huh? Why? I don't know. Put two and two together. Oops. Math and you are his favorite subject. I don't know. I don't know. Some of these people are stuck in some type of... I don't know what this is. They took an oath. They signed their lives away. It's, I don't know how long their contract is, but uh, baby. Yeah, baby. They're worried. This man is freeing himself. He said, I don't want to be... Linda, Linda. Listen, Linda. Linda, listen. Listen. L Linda, you're not listening. When we go to grandma's house, we can do whatever we want. We don't want to be here anymore. Anyway, Linda, Linda, Linda. A brother is freeing himself. I know everybody is... Burden and worry because a brother is committing himself to his healing. He wants to be high vibrational now. You said, what? You mean they've been depleting my energy this whole time? And you mean that I'm in charge of my own destiny? And baby, he said, I'm out. Mm, a brother is letting go of all the toxicity. He said, I am free from bondage. You cannot hold me back anymore. Keep holding me back, holding me back, holding me back, holding me back. They've been trying to hold that man back for a long time. And he's been stuck, stuck, been afraid. Every time someone comes towards him that's genuine and they give him an offer, he got his hands. Mm. 
throwing a pout because he thinks everybody is karmic like his family everybody is karmic like the people he's dated so when a true person comes around give him an offer he fold his hands pout his nose and his mouth i don't want it and sources that oh you said you wanted to be healed right you wanted to be happy live a fulfilling life well that's the person that was going to help you do that what the heck is wrong with you we can't keep doing this for you we can't keep doing this with you, Billy. So Billy said, you know what? This one time here, I am going to put an end to all of this distress, this conflict, and become my best self. Source, help me. Help me. Now Billy's out here having foresight. Speaking his mind, Barbie telling these people, what the F it is from now on. He said, I don't told you. If it ain't about the money, don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Don't nothing me. Delete me. Delete me from your contact. He said, move on. But they said, it's so hard. We're so used to being conf uh, confrontational. We're so used to causing conflict. We're used to being comic. He said, I don't care. Figure it out. Figure it out. Okay? Figure it out. But there will be balance burn in this situation. <laughs> yeah, he's freeing himself from this institution, this whatever this is, leaving them out in the cold. There's an emperor that's about to lose everything because you don't know when to let go. Your, your narcissism got you effed up real. It's about to have you fold up. <laughs> You about to be out here, please, sir. Can I have some more? More? <laughs> oh. <laughs> about to be out here in the cold, cold. In the cold. Yeah, baby. This man got foresight of everything that's going on now. He said, oh, that's how y'all been doing with me? Y'all been playing me like that? Oh, I don't want to be karmic with you no more. I want to go on and live my truth. Someone knows the truth about a whole situation now and people don't know it. I don't know if this is his mother or his wife that's still out here trying to sneak and pretend like she don't, she's not up to nothing, man. He knows what you're up to. He knows. He said, hey, before he gets there and give her this offer, here, let me pay you so you can go to her and give her this offer. Hopefully she'll accept it and she'll reject him when he when he gets to her. Or let me go and pay this practitioner so she, she can send or he can send a lot of negative energy to her so that she can be in an angry state, being bitter, so that when he does arrive to her, she can be real nasty to him and he can be turned off at her and be like, dang. So they were right about you this whole time. They said you were real mean and nasty and insecure. I thought you were not all of that, but apparently you are. No, ma'am. When he comes to that woman, it's going to be sunshines and butterflies. You see the sunflower seeds and everything right there? Yeah, that's like that woman got her mind on positive things. As if to say, listen, listen, Linda, Linda, listen. I'm about to be out here living my best life, healing the world communicating with source, talking to my ancestors regularly, like I'm talking to a, a, a physical person face to face, that someone communicates, communicates with their ancestors like that. So you can pay all you want. She said, let me, let me go real quick. I'm about to sneak away and go talk to this king of swords, this king of, uh, a king of pentacles, this knight of swords, and they're going to go in and give her an offer. We're going to get, we're going to go have this knight of wands, give her an offer. He's going to go for it, right? And when he goes in, he's going to put, put it on her thick that he's the twin flame. He's the higher level soulmate. Blah, 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 blah. Mind you, whoever they're going to is a high priestess and they don't already saw their higher level soulmate in a dream. So they already know what this man looks like. How are you going to go fool someone that knows who's supposed to be coming towards them? How? How, Sway? How? Huh? How? This is why this man here is standing his ground. You all don't know it. These two communicate in the spirit. It's a, how you doing, soul twin? How you love a soul man, whoever you are? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. These two, listen, these two don't already met in the spirit. 
every lifetime these two find each other. It don't they don't care how difficult it on a spiritual level, they don't care how difficult it is, how difficult the path is, how complicated it is, who's trying to stop them, break them, destroy them. they're always going to find each other. That is part of their contract. They will always find each other. Always. Okay? <laughs> That's what you all don't understand. They're always going to find each other. So you, the mother, the wife, ex-wife, whoever you are, you can keep sneaking and paying people here to block someone from, like, she's trying to block someone from being able to think, to self-actualize, to have foresight of what's going on, to understand things in the way that they're supposed, like, like, basically, you see red, and she said, no, that's not red, that's purple, that's what she wants happening, so she's paying people out here to manipulate Go in and give false offers and things like that. Girl, you'll be asking yourself, it ain't going to go down that way. It is not. This brother got forced out of everything that's going on. And he's more so concerned with the fact that he didn't take action towards his counterpart when he was supposed to. He put it up to indulge in low vibrational activity with people that were not worth his time. This is what he's more so concerned about. He ain't worried about what it is you're saying. At this point, he's fed up. You may want to step away from this man because at any moment he could pass out on any of you and give you a piece of his mind. So you may want to back off and go on about your life because this whole period of him not taking action to balance something out is over. It's what he wants you to know. So because that's over, this is causing a tower because his brother is moving on to have this new beginning. And he's going to be very protective of it. And of course, you are going to be there. Trying to defeat him, trying to block him from, baby, it's already here. It's already, the time for manifesting this relationship has passed. It has already happened. <laughs> it has already happened. This a t listen, there's some, listen, 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 Linda. These people, these people, they're having a tower moment as well because what? Whoever they were supposed to send in to give an offer, whoever they were going to knows. They said, oh, she knows I'm coming. She knows that you paid me to come in and give her an offer. She also knows that he's going in to give her an offer. What do we do? Sit your raggedy behinds down and mind your business easy as A, B, C. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a whole family going through towers right now. There's a whole group of friends. Could be three women, four women. We don't care how many there are, but they're all going through a tower. And they're going to have to let go of something. I know you all don't want to hear that. I ain't letting go of nothing. This emperor, nah, I'm not letting go. I'm going to keep going through to the end. I'm committed to this. It's okay. It's okay. Because you're about to be out in poverty. You're about to lose everything. We'll see how committed you are then. So it's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're about to be out here living in fear. You know how Scar said fear in the Lion King? Fear. You're about to be living in that. Not knowing where your next check is coming from. How you're going to pay the bills. <laughs> it's about to be a hard knock life. For you, it's a hard knock life for you. Getting treated. Nah, you ain't getting treated weekly. It's karma playing out. You're out here blocking people's income, resources, money, everything, connections. So it's only justice. It's only good karma for you to go through the same thing. So that's what you're about to go through. You're about to go through the exact, exact same, same thing, same thing. Same thing. And while you're going through that, someone is about to be well, going through success, making connections, who being a business mogul, baby. Oh, this, this man is about to be successful, successful. You see him going from here being by himself to connecting with his twin flame and he's all protective and he's like, I wish a mother ever would approach. I'm a slash ya. Okay. It was cute, though. All the efforts. That's what I'm being told to tell you all. It was cute. <laughs> I 
Oh gosh, it's a pettiness. <laughs> I'm being the t- I'm being told to tell you all your efforts were cute. <laughs> Try to get someone locked up, some have someone confused, mind games. Someone even did some glamour spells so they can appear to be attractive, <laughs> so a feminine energy can get with them. <laughs> the ancestors want you all to know all efforts were cute but they were in vain because these they weren't in vain because you all learn lessons through all of this you'll figure out what the lessons were when the time comes but they said to tell you all it was cute it was admirable i guess it's what they said it was cute you know blocking communications and everything interjecting emails text messages blocking phone calls they said it was cute it was cute it was real cute talking about don't pay them and this is what they're doing to some of you that you're not aware of you're working for companies and you don't know that the companies you worked for previously are telling them not to pay you all past a certain amount because they have an alliance to what trap you control you block you from being able to move forward and you know the, the universe is sitting back and watching all of it played out because a lot of these companies some of them are about to be going out of business Some of these workers are going to show up to work one day and it's going to be, oh, we're not in business anymore. Oh, it's about to happen to a company, a very big company. It's going to be, they're closed down. Oh, yeah, their last day in business was yesterday. They filed for bankruptcy. Uh, Yeah, they're not in operation anymore. You got to find a new job. It's a whole enterprise that's about to be shut down. Shut down, no money. No munting. They're struggling. It's a business, not an enterprise as well that's about to shut down. No munting. No munting. And it's karma. It's karma. Collected your thing with you bad? No. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm going to have to work on my maturity at some point because <laughs> it was cute while it lasted. That's what I keep being told to tell you all. Oh, your efforts were cute. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> oh, and it's too when they get together, they will be getting away. I think there's something where people are plotting that when two people that get together, you are gonna get together and sneak them, try to take them out. And maybe this is about to be them. Sailing into the sunset. All free to be is that I'm free, free, free. And then they wanna come in and be that Source is like, I wish you would. I wish you would. When I'm done with you, what you're going through right now, it will be like playground. <laughs> it's gonna p- playground kind of time out. Well, you better not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, karma is flowing out. That tower is hitting hard. She said, yes, I'm going to have this new beginning. I've defeated her. I've defeated him. So I said, really? You sure about that? Okay. Anyways, thanks folks for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.